This is Remote Learning Initiative by Sit with the Bandar English High School, Vase East. I am Rita Palo, your science teacher, and today we will learn lesson number nine: Types of Rocks and Minerals. The earth crust is made up of rock and soil. This we have learned in previous years also in fourth standard and in third standard also. These rocks are made up of small particles known as minerals. Every rock is made up of one or more minerals. Means some rocks are made up of one mineral and some are made up of more than one minerals. The type of rocks depend on the quantity and the quality of the minerals present in it. Rocks keep breaking into small pieces because of the force of flowing water, strong winds, and changes in the weather. Student, you must have remember. the the in third standard and even in fourth standard we have learned about weathering of rocks how because of the sun's rays sun's heat the rain a uh, force of the water how the big big rocks are converted into small soil particles ultimately this rock become soil at last on which life is dependent on which we all live rocks and soil mainly consist of certain chemicals that chemicals are known as silicates earth crust also provides us with metals non metals and fossil fuels inside the earth when we dig the soil inside we get many of the metals and non metals and also fossil fuels these are our natural resources because we are getting this all the things the metals non metal fossil fuels we are getting from the nature that's why they all are natural resources rocks are generally different from one another in their origin means in their look their color their texture and also the type of mineral they have the scientists who studies rocks is uh, rocks and soil means does deep study about the rocks and soil is known as geologist now they are depend on the different types of rock it can be classified into three parts igneous rock sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rock we will see about each of them deep in detail now igneous rock are also of four type they are pumice obsidian basalt and granite now how the igneous rocks are formed when rocks are melted at high temperature inside the earth magma is formed that is we are talking about the volcano in the volcano there are many rocks which get melted because of the high temperature inside the earth and that forms the magma now that magma what happens when it comes out when it reaches the surface of the earth by volcanic eruption it is known as lava the red color fiery part what is coming out from the volcano is known as lava igneous rocks are formed from this lava which comes out from the deep inside the earth through volcanoes now when this vol- uh, lava comes out after that it takes time to cool down if it some parts get cool very quickly so they form three types of rock that are pumice obsidian and basalt and some of the lava take very time for cooling slow cooling so that cool uh, that uh, uh, lava forms granite now pumice the first type of uh, igneous rock it is very soft spongy and lightweight rock and is so formed due to trapped air bubbles there are air bubbles holes many holes in it what is the uses of it it is used to make stone utensils it is used to used as a scrubber to remove rough skin from your body many of you must be having it in your bathroom also it's a stone which are having various holes in it uh, you can see the picture Dentists use powder pumice for polishing our teeth. 
teeth if we go to dentist for any teeth problem then they use the polished pumice for cleaning our teeth obsidian you can see obsidian how it looks like it's very shiny it's dark in color and it is very very shiny it is a dark shiny and layered rock that appears like a glass you can see there are various layers on the uh, rock also it has sharp edge what is the use of it it is used for making tools what tools like uh, in hindi we tell it as auxar we it is used for making the implements basalt you can see this rock it's known as basalt rock it is dark or brown dark brown and smooth rock it is used by the goldsmith to you to test the purity of gold if you must have gone to a, a goldsmith and you must have seen where they are measuring the gold there they have kept a rock on which they uh, little they rub the gold and they see whether the gold ornament what we are selling them is pure or not granite the most common rock containing two minerals quartz and felsite you can see the color of the rock it is multicolored like two three colors are mixed in it because it is made up of two minerals that is quartz and felsite it is colored rock it has coarse grain means it is rough also what is it is used for polished granite is used for flooring and for making statues it is used for making floors and statues also that uh, statues means uh, um, like a god statue or any person statues can be made from this rock 